Mara. Oh, Mara. Mara. Oh, Mara. Have you ever wondered how real the Bible is? Have you ever wondered what that word Mara means? Do you like riddles? If so, come and play a game with me. I love riddles. I love riddles. Riddle me this and riddle me that. In the book it was written. My name is what I'm seeking for. It was said in the beginning, and it was spoken in the ending. There it was made known. From the ground I was formed, and like a maggot, I did crawl, because it was for the tree I was made. Oh, the smell of that tree made me faint my knees because it was from the depths of my belly I made my pleas I cried day and night until she heard for the tree I was made for love she has come Yet it was on that day she died in my arms. Yes, she was there in my heart. She now lives. For it was from just one bite, I do declare, water comes from above like a flying dove. For those who are seeking love, from the heart, the river flows. From the heart, the blood did grow. For the tree I was made, like a worm. On the ground I looked all around. Seek. And you shall find, said the voice from heaven. No slave is too small. And no king is too great. For it was for my bride. You were made. Oh, that tree. It grew so tall. Oh, how I would love to make them fall. For it was the tree. It made me crawl. Now tell me this, from the great book it was written, and for, for my heart it was given, what is my name? Trust me, it's a gift and a blessing. Trust me, trust me, these words of mine are trustworthy and true. I do love you. One day, not so long ago, I was sitting on the curb with my head held low between my knees. And my brother came up to me and tapped me on the shoulder. And he said to me, Brother, you are unclean. You are dirty and unclean. He said to me, Oh, brother, go to our daddy's house, and he will wash you clean. And I said to my brother, Oh, brother, I cannot go back to our dad's house. For I have slept with prostitutes, I have drank with the drunkards, and I spent all of our daddy's money in this golden image, which I 
ultimately got burned. My brother said to me, go, go to daddy's house. Do not worry, he will wash you clean. And so while I sat there thinking and pondering, I stood up and I walked to our dad's house. And when I got there, Dad opened the door and he said, My son, my son, you are the one I love. He says, come on in. Have some bread. Eat this food. And my flesh will become your flesh. Oh, my son, drink my wine so that my blood can be your blood all the way to the end of time. And so I ate and they drank. And then my brother said to me, my brother, I am the Prince of Peace. Come to my house, knock on my door. And there you can come in and live with me forevermore. So I said, knock, 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 knock. A clue I see you need. Do not worry, this is not too hard for me. We will figure this out. Just wait and see. Mm. Black and yellow. Black and yellow has been the life for me. Black and yellow, black and yellow is all I see. Thousand to my left, 10,000 to my right. Black and yellow is all I see. Yet, with the heart of a lion, I reached in and I took a bite. My eyes were closed, my ears were deafened, and my belly was so hungry, there really was nothing left to fear. What is stronger than a lion? It's sweeter than honey. Knowing my savior is near. For the valleys, the lilies grew. For the lilies, the bees were made. Dandelions too. Yes, for me and you, this is true. Love. Emmanuel. Love. God is with us. Another clue you need, I see. No problem, I got one for thee. Did you know from just one tear the seas were made. Did you know from just one tear all the clouds were manned? Did you know from just one tear a cry is made? Did you know from just one tear a mother finds her gleam? Did you know from just one tear the ground begins to grow? Did you know from just one tear a father finds his son? Did you know from just one tear a finger goes forth? Did you know 
that one day all tears will be wiped away from the water you were formed yet it was for my heart you were made yes Abraham was glad when he saw this day love Emmanuel Love, God is with us. Love, Emmanuel. One last clue is all I got for you. Hang in there. We'll get the job done. The river it once flowed. Full of life and full of joy it once flowed. To the river we did gather, singing songs as it flowed. At the river we found joy, just living life as we watched it flow. By the river her beauty did show. It was by the river we saw her dancing and singing as we watched the river flow. Oh, he did come, that man and his tree, changing our river as it once flowed. From the river of blood, it did grow. Our love for life and our hopes for joy came from the river of blood. Just as the story goes. From the heart, the river flows. Love. Emmanuel, love, God is with us, love, Emmanuel. Well, there were three keys I left for you, the spirit, the water, and the blood. And they all testify to the truth. And they are all one. What will overcome this world? Knowing who the Christ is. Jesus is the Christ of God. The Savior of the world. He lives in me. But I know he's alive in you. Love, Emmanuel, love, God is with us, love, Emmanuel. I will sing to the Lord, for he is highly exalted both horse and driver he has hurled into the sea the lord is my strength the lord has become my salvation he is my god and i will praise him my father's god and i will exalt him the lord is a warrior the Lord is his name. Pharaoh's chariots and his army he has hurled into the sea. The very best of Pharaoh's officers all drowned in the sea. The deep waters have covered over them. They sank like a stone in the deep waters. It was your right hand, O oh Lord, that was majestic in power. 
It was your right hand, O Lord, that shattered the enemy. In the greatness of your majesty, you threw down all those who opposed you. You unleashed your burning anger, and it consumed them like stubble. The blast from your nostrils, all the waters piled up, surging waters stood up like a wall. And the deep waters congealed in the heart of the sea. The enemies boasted, I will pursue them. I will overtake them. I will divide their spoils and I will gorge myself on them. I will draw my sword and my hand will destroy them. You with your breath and the sea covered over them. They all sank like lead. In the mighty waters. Who among all the gods are like you, Lord? Who is like you, O awesome in glory, working majestic wonders? You stretch out your right hand, all the earth, and your enemies. In your unfailing love, you will redeem the people. In your strength, you will guide them to your holy dwelling. All the nations will hear and tremble. Anguish will grip all the people of Philistina. The chiefs of Edom will all be terrified. And the leaders of Moab, they will be seized The people trouble. of Canaan will all melt away. Terror and dread will fall on them by the power of your arm. They will be all still as stone until your people pass by, O oh Lord. Until the people you have bought all pass by. You will bring them in and you will plant them in the mountain of your That place, O oh Lord, where you made for your dwelling. You will bring them in and plant them on the mountain of your inheritance. That place, O oh Lord, you have made for your dwelling. That sanctuary, O oh Lord, your hands have established. It is the Lord who reigns forever and ever. When Pharaoh and his horses and all of his horsemen walked into the sea, the Lord caused the waters to cover over them. But the Israelites all walked through the sea as though they were walking on dry ground. Then Miriam, the prophet, Aaron's sister, took a tambourine in her hand and she led all of the women in song. Miriam sang to them, Sing to the Lord, for he is highly exalted. Pharaoh's army, the horsemen, and their riders he has thrown into the sea. And then the Israelites said to them, If only we had died by the hand of the Lord back in Egypt. Back in Egypt, we sat around pots of meat. But you have brought us out here in this desert to starve us to death. And then the Lord said to Moses, I will rain down bread from heaven for you. The people are to gather each day enough food for that day. In this way, I will test them to see if they will follow my instructions. And on the sixth day, they are to gather twice as much as they gathered on all the other days. Then Moses led them all from the Red Sea into the desert of Shur. It was for three days they traveled through the desert without finding any water. And when they came to Mara, they could not drink the water because it was bitter. 
That is why this place is called Mara. So all the people began to grumble against Moses. What are we to drink? Then Moses cried out to the Lord. And the Lord showed him a piece of wood. He threw it into the water. And the water became fit to drink. There, the Lord gave them instructions and put a rule to them. And there it was, he put them to the test. If you listen to the Lord very carefully and do everything that is right in his eyes, if you pay attention and keep his demands and all of his decrees, I will not bring any of these plagues and diseases that I have brought upon the Egyptians. For I am the Lord who heals you. Then Moses said, you will know it was the Lord. When in the evening you get all the meat you can eat. And in the morning you will have all the bread you can handle because the Lord has heard your grumblings against him who are we you're not grumbling against us no you're grumbling against the Lord then Moses said to Aaron tell all the Israelites the Lord has heard your grumbling. While Aaron was speaking to the whole Israelite community, they all looked into the desert. And it was there, it was there that the glory of the Lord it was appearing in the clouds. The Lord said to Moses, I have heard the grumbling of all the Israelites. Tell them all that at twilight you shall eat meat, and in the morning you will eat bread. Then you will know I am the Lord. The word of the Lord came to me. He said, Son of man, if a country sins against me and is unfaithful against me, and I send against it a plague, my sword, my arm, and Daniel, and Noah, and Job were all within that city, Daniel, Noah, and Job could only save themselves. And if I sent wild beasts, into that place to devour all flesh and all the children. Still, only Noah, Daniel, and Job could save themselves. And if I decided to rain out my wrath and shed blood all across the land and, and killed everything, both animal, beast, and human, still, the righteousness of Noah and Job and Daniel could only save themselves. But Jerusalem will be comforted. I will send my sword against them. I will send out my wrath and all the plagues against them. And yet if Daniel, Job and Noah were in Jerusalem at that time, they still could only save themselves. But I will save a remnant. And that remnant, those few that are left over, they will see, they will see the truth, declares the Lord, and they will be comforted. The world may mourn, but they, they will be comforted. They will see, and they will know that I am the Lord 
who rescues them. I am the Lord. And everything I declare, I declare it for a purpose, for a reason, and I do nothing without purpose or reason, declares the Lord. <laughs> Riddle me this and riddle me that. There was a name I was looking for. And today we know it. The star is wormwood. And one third of the waters turned bitter. And one third of the earth turned bitter. A fourth angel sounded its trumpet. And a third of the moon was darkened, a third of the sun was darkened, a third of the stars were darkened, and a third of the earth was darkened, a third of the day was darkened, and also one third of the night. As I watched, there was this eagle that was flying out and it cried out with a loud voice, whoa, 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 to the inhabitants of the earth. Because of the trumpet blasts, they're about to be sounded by the other three angels. Do you know who we're talking about? We're talking about Jesus Christ, right? And, and this is why it's clearly spoken and said without the, throughout the New Testament. At the ninth hour, at the ninth hour, Jesus died. For three hours, from the sixth hour to the ninth hour, the sun was black. There, there was no light across the earth. Yet... On the third morning, of the third day, there is a woman named Mary. Mary. Did you know the name Mary is another form of the name Mara? Bitterness. Deep bitterness. Although the world rejoiced over the death of Jesus Christ, they mourned. And they wept, and they were filled with sorrow. But on the morning of the third day, Mary went to find her Savior to prepare his dead body. But the tomb was empty, and she began to look around and saw a man standing there, and surely he must be the gardener or the caretaker of this garden. And she said, Sir, Sir! They have taken my Lord. He was here. Where is he? Do you know where he is? And the man said, Mary. Mary. Is I. And with great joy and jubilee, she saw the Lord fully alive. Three days ago, he was crucified, hanging on a cross until twilight. Yet yeah, Jesus said, I am the bread that came from heaven. Unless you're willing to eat my flesh, my meat, you have no place in my kingdom. And unless you're willing to drink my blood, salvation is far from you. At that time, many disciples left him. This teaching is too much. It's bitter water. Who is this guy that we must crucify him? We must eat him and drink his blood. What kind of teaching is this? It's bitter. I can't drink it. But to those who loved him and cherished him, they saw him fully alive, resurrected, in a majestic body where decay had not crept in and death was conquered. See, Jesus took Satan and the false prophet and threw them into the sea. The sea of unquenchable fire. 
Jesus took death and the lie and threw it into the sea. Or there was unquenchable fire. And then he said to Mary, a woman possessed by seven demons, by seven plagues from which she could not free herself. He said to her, go and tell my brothers, I am alive and I will meet you in Galilee. He said, tell my brothers, for water this is what John baptized with, but you will be baptized in the Holy Spirit and with fire for blood has always been thicker than water. Jesus is wormwood. He was made for the tree. And when he entered the water, it became drinkable. It became good. And it became a place full of rejoicing and love and mercy and life. As he meant to go and tell, hey, I am the sign that will never be taken away. Do you understand God is not slow in his promises like us men are slow in dealing with our issues. No, God is waiting. He's waiting for you. He's waiting for you to repent. Repent. He's waiting for you to transform. He, he's waiting for you to be changed in an instant. When we leave this body, we'll be transformed and changed into the likeness of Jesus Christ. In an instant, we will be present with God. In the twinkle of an eye, present with the Lord. He's not dead, but alive. And when this happens, when you die and then rise back to life, you will know, you will know. I am the Lord who heals you. We know what destroys us, but do we know the Lord who heals us? Because on that day, you will know without a doubt. You'll be able to touch it. You'll be able to feel it. You'll be able to, to feel its breath breathe upon you that I am the Lord who heals you. Blessed is every eye and every one who reads the book of Revelation because it is the revelation of Jesus Christ. Both rider and horse. I have hurled into the sea. Job, Noah, Daniel could only save themselves. But look at me, says the Lord our God. I saved everyone. Even thee. That's the power of our God in the right hand. I conquered death. Lies. Our Father is so humble. He calls us brothers and sisters and mothers. He says, if you're hungry, if you're thirsty, if you're tired, I am the Lord who heals you. I am the Lord who feeds you. I am the Lord who gives you something to drink. I am the Lord who clothes you. I am the Lord your God. The people who it was said are not my people. I will say in that place, you are my people. And I will be your God and you will be my people. A people who were once without hope. A people perishing without hope. 
says the Lord. They will be my people. Aren't you? Son of God. I'm not waiting for the man of perdition or the Antichrist to appear. Because my Lord and my God threw them into the sea. These are the words that are trustworthy and true. It is finished. It is done. Tell them how much I love them. And I have heard every word they say. I, the Lord, am coming. And Abraham was glad when he saw this day. Jesus is coming. The Lord who heals us. Jesus is coming. The Lord who heals us. Jesus is coming because the Lord healed me, because the Lord fed me, because he clothed me, because he visited me in prison. I stand at his right hand while he makes all of my enemies a place for me my footstool. Says the Lord. No one can enter into heaven unless your name is written in the book of life. I mean, nobody can read this book. But glory be to God, the Lamb who was slain is blameless, without blemish, sin, or temptation. He We'll read the book. Thank God. Jesus Christ is judge. As if I was the king and judge of the world. If I was Lord and Savior, surely, surely, I would throw you with the devil into the sea. Thank God for Jesus Christ. For he has forgiven both you and me.